We're back with Americans worrying about the H1N1 flu, yet also worried about the vaccine and what to do to stay safe. The breaking news, New York's governor lifting an order that all healthcare workers be vaccinated in New York. Some of the debate, debate is academic, supplies of the vaccine are running short. Back now with Lorna Patterson, Dr. Jorge Rodriguez, and your question. So Lorna, you're a nurse, you say you don't trust the vaccine, you don't want it for yourself. Would you tell parents not to get their kids vaccinated? Absolutely not. And that's not been my position or any of the people that I have been associated with regarding our lawsuit. Um, we believe in educating people on prevention of transmitting infection, uh, the good hand washing and good etiquette when you do have someone sick at home and when you're out in public. Uh, but we encourage people to do a good uh, check on this before they make that decision for their child. There's plenty of internet information available uh, for them to look into to make a decision that they feel is best for them. And that's what we had asked for ourselves, that we could make the but, decision but, that we felt was best for us. But if a patient comes to you in, in, as a nurse and asks you, should I get my child vaccinated, what do you tell them? I mean, there's a lot of false information on the internet too, so I'm just worried about people kind of just randomly going to the internet. Uh, Lorna, what what do you tell people? I'm still here. <laughs> okay, I've lost IFB with Lorna. Uh, Dr. Rodriguez, she's saying, okay, people should go to the internet. It seems like there's also a lot of fal false information floating out on the internet and a lot of rumors. Should parents get their kids vaccinated? I think parents should definitely get their kids vaccinated. There are a lot of criteria that a knowledgeable physician should follow. And I agree with you, Anderson. Sometimes when we search the internet, we search for what we want to find. So therefore, if you're afraid, you will feed into those those reports that, that show the negative. That's why a physician needs to be the one that's questioned and give the information, hopefully in a very clear way to the to the parent for them to make the final decision. 198 schools, Dr. Rodriguez, are now closed across the country. That's a, a large number of schools in right. the United States to be closed all at once based on this flu. Does, it, does, does the vaccine work better if more kids get vaccinated? I mean, if some parents are opting out and choosing not to vaccinate their kids, does that put other kids at risk? Yes, absolutely. So the spread of the vaccine would minimize if more people were vaccinated. And the statistic you gave is astounding. A week ago, it was 80 schools or 88. Now it's in the 190s. Also, the more vac excuse me, the more viruses that there are in a population replicating, the greater the chance of that virus mutating. So you have to think of, of a community health, a sort of a national health, not just one individual. That's so, Lorna, I know we're, we're back. We, we have your IFB. Um, it, it, I just want to re-ask this question that I was trying to get at. It, you, you're saying if a patient comes to you and asks you, should I vaccinate your, my child, I mean, what do you tell them? Would you vaccinate your own child? If, I'm not sure if you have kids, but if you did, would you vaccinate them? I would not vaccinate my child. But again, Why is that? Um, I don't, because I believe that the risks outweigh the benefit. And, and what do you see as the risks of the vaccine? Um, the side effects of flu vaccines alone can at some, can at some uh, situations be very devastating. Uh, they're not well documented, and, but they are there. Uh, there's also a lot of additives that are placed into vaccines that are of concern. And I have been in healthcare for 28 years. I've been 10 years in the ER. I've done hospital nursing for 23 of that 28 years and public health nursing in home for five of those years. I have never had the flu. I am exposed to the flu and H1N1 daily at my workplace. I have seen many people with it already this year and coworkers that have had it and their children as well. So I am familiar okay. with it. Dr. Rodriguez, uh, what, what about that? Well, I First of all, in the time that, that she's been practicing, which is, which is wonderful, um, she has to have noticed that the facts that there are less vaccinations, we thought we'd eradicate it, for example, polio and whooping cough, and it's opinions like that that have caused a resurgence of this. Now, there's lots of information about flu vaccines. They're given every year, and there's a small amount of potential side effects from it, yes, but the risks are definitely less than the benefits that can be obtained from, from vaccinating. Uh, we're getting a bunch of your, children with, with we're getting a bunch of your, getting a bunch of your questions and I want to just toss them out there Cynthia asked I was wondering if you do get it does it make you immune to getting it again more prone to getting it again or no effect one way or the other dr. Rodriguez um, if you get the back, uh, excuse me, the flu with H1N1, assuming that it doesn't mutate then you probably won't get it again because you do have antibodies um, against the flu 
Uh, I appreciate both your perspectives. Thank you for being on the program, Doc, uh, Nurse Lorna Patterson. Thank you, and Dr. Thank you. Jorge Rodriguez as well. Thank you. Coming up, the.